Hi, and thank you for joining me, Joe Unwin, also known as Flojo, on another PowerFX video. Today, we're going to be looking at the trim ends function. Now, this function differs from the standard trim function in that it allows you to keep spaces between words, and it only focuses on the ends of words. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, let's take a look at the example on the screen. I've got trim ends, and then I've got open the parentheses, and I've got my quotation marks. Now, I'm just doing a standard um, piece of text here where I'm using the quotation marks to put it in. But you can bring in uh, words from, let's say, Excel or from Dataverse or wherever you're getting your data from, and you can pass it in providing it is a string or text type. So as long as it's a text type, then you can use that. Now, what's going to happen then is it's going to take the space here so i've got a quotation mark space flow a load of spaces in between joe and then i've got a space at the end now because it's called trim ends what's going to happen is it's going to trim the ends of the text right it's going to ignore all of the spaces between the words and it's going to trim the start and the finish so it's going to remove the space from the start and the finish and then it's going to leave all these spaces between it. Now, if you're wanting to remove all of these spaces, except one, you're going to want to refer to my trim function video. That will explain how all of that works and how you can uh, remove all of the additional spaces so you just have the space that you're expecting as if you was writing in English, for example. But if you're um, looking to maintain spaces, this is the function for you. So let's actually see this in action then. I've got three examples here. So I've got one which is the uh, function that we've got here and the example here with all of the spaces. So if I remove these two slashes here, you can see that I've not got a um, space between the beginning and the F, it's just starting at flow. And then I've not got a space after Joe, but I've got all of the spaces between them. So I've maintained the spaces between the two words and I've trimmed the ends to remove those spaces. So this is really important if you're wanting to keep the spaces between words, right? But it also works in our other example where I've got one addition, I've got one space between the words. So this is just if I'm typing out a paragraph, let's say I've got an additional space at the beginning and at the end, for whatever reason, let's say in Dataverse, it's added an extra space or in Excel, it's added an extra space. Wherever you're pulling it from, for some reason, there is a space before and there is a space after, or there is just a space before or there is just a space after and you're wanting to clean up this text. And this is how you would do that. And you can see here, it's removed the start uh, space and it's removed the end space and it's just left me with flow space Joe and again this also works with either of them just being on their there on their own so I've got for example a space at the beginning here and I've got flow space Joe it's removed that one space and that is how easy it is to clean up text with power effects using the trim ends function now, if you have any questions, leave a comment below, hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel, and I'll see you on another video.